game. Atlas Cross Sport Post Game Report. Here now, Liam McHugh. On a cool, soggy night in Kansas City, the defending champs kick off this unique season in style. A complete team victory as they take down the Houston Texans' final score, 34-20. to Welcome back to Arrowhead Stadium. Sure, the Chiefs are coming off their first Super Bowl in 50 years, but they haven't been shy about the fact that they are trying to build a dynasty. They've even labeled this season the Run It Back Tour. Listen, it's a long road ahead, and history is definitely not on their side, but they took a very positive first step here tonight. The dynamic offense, it unveils its newest weapon in Edwards Hilaire. As for the defense, so strong down the stretch, and they delivered again tonight. Houston, they struggled, for the most part, on offense in their first game without DeAndre Hopkins. We get to give out some game balls. Players of the game, really no surprise. Patrick Mahomes delivering in the way that a Super Bowl MVP could. Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, his first NFL game, the rookie out of LSU, was superb. And, of course, on the defensive side of things, another man who recently got paid, Chris Jones. Let's go to Michelle, who's with Patrick Mahomes. Patrick, your first time playing in an actual game since the Super Bowl. After a really unique offseason, what is it like to finally be back to football? It, it's uh, it's fun. It's fun to be back out here through the, the offseason that we had as a, as a world, as a nation, and to be doing something normal again. Obviously, we got to have some fans out here, but uh, I thought everything was handled in the right way, and uh, we're glad we got the win. Yeah, you got the win with the usual suspects like Travis Kelsey, Sammy Watkins, Tyreek Hill, but... Your rookie, Clyde edwards alaire made quite an impact tonight. How was he able to do that? Yeah, I mean, like, the guy's a star, man. He, he works hard. He works his tail off. His, his vision's incredible. And I thought the offensive line did a great job of giving him those, those holes for him to run through. And so uh, uh, we're going to keep getting better. We have stuff we've got to learn from from this game. And I think that's the best thing about this team is you never know who it's going to be. And on defense, another rookie, Jarius Sneed, came up with a couple of big plays and an interception. What did you make of the defensive performance tonight? I thought, I thought they did a, a hell of a job against a very good offense. I mean, uh, that, Deshaun and those guys have a lot of playmakers over there. And for, for pretty much the whole entire game, they kind of kept them, kept them stalemated or whatever it was. And so uh, I thought they did a great job. Uh, Sneed stepped up big and made a lot of good plays. And we're going to keep getting better as the season goes on. And finally, you mentioned Deshaun Watson. You and he collaborated on the moment of unity before the game. Take us behind the scenes, and what were those conversations like? How did you guys come up with that? Yeah, I mean, obviously with everything going on in, in this country, we wanted to show that we, we were unified as a league, and we're not going to let playing football distract us from what we're doing and making change in this world. And I feel like uh, Deshaun's a great guy who shows that and leads by example every single every single day and every time I've been around him, and so I'm going to try to do the same. And I feel like the Chiefs and the Texans and the rest of the NFL, we're going to keep making change in this world. Patrick, you're 1-0 to start this season. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Liam? Thanks, Michelle. Strong performance and a strong message there. And a reminder, Peacock, the free streaming service, features sports content all day, and it all gets started with PFT Live with Florio and Sims at 7 a.m. Eastern. Final score here tonight, Kansas City 34, Houston 20. Alan Chris will wrap things up right after this. Welcome back to the Atlas Cross Sport Post Game Report. A look at SoFi Stadium. Took four years to build. First game to be played there is next Sunday night on Sunday Night Football, 72 hours from now. And that will be the home of Super Bowl 56, which will be on NBC a year from February. So not only the new stadium and everything, which is fantastic, but the Cowboys and the Rams in a very intriguing matchup on Sunday night. It really is. And, of course, uh, Mike McCarthy coming in, his debut, and looking forward to seeing exactly what they're going to be on offense. Mike Nolan is a new defensive coordinator. What are they going to be over there? C.D. Lamb we talked about. But remember, the Cowboys had one of the high-flying offenses last year even, and now coming back with more weapons. And, of course, Aaron Donald and the great defense on the other side for the Rams. It's really going to be a great matchup. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. I mean, the Rams two years ago were in the Super Bowl. Last year, got off to a good start. They were 3-0 and as the Cowboys were. Neither team made the playoffs. Rams played pretty well down the stretch, but too little too late. This year, seven teams in each conference 
will go to the playoffs. So the Rams would have made it last year. Yeah, and I, that's going to be a really interesting part of football this year is that teams that traditionally had been out of it all of a sudden will be in it. And we just always hope we make it all the way through the entire season this year. And you can slide in before the season is done. There we go. Listen, all this man. Social distancing. I need a megaphone. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it from opening night in Kansas City. The final score was 34 to 20, except on the West Coast. Next, local news, followed by an all new Tonight Show with Miley Cyrus. For now, Al Michaels, Chris Collinsworth, Michelle Tafoya. Until Sunday night, Rams-Cowboys, good night from the home of the champions, Kansas City.